Good evening all and welcome to another video on All How The Ale. It's Saturday night, which means it's craft beer night and it's the last beer from the uh, the Fierce Beer Collection that I bought recently. Uh, the beer is this one, it is Squirrel. And Squirrel is a hazelnut brown ale and brown ale is a style that you don't see much of uh, in the craft world. Uh, so I thought I'd have to give this one a try. So I do enjoy a good brown ale and I do love hazelnuts, uh, particularly when they're blended with some cocoa, some sugar and whatnot and you end up with Nutella. Anyway, I digress. Uh, this is a 5.3% ABV ale, and it says that it's a brown ale packed with that many layers of chocolate and hazelnut flavour. You'd be nuts not to try it. Sorry, we'll get a coat. And I, I appreciate a dad joke as much as the next person, and uh, more of that, please. I enjoy them. So, yeah, so you've got some, some funky, I guess, funky artwork. You've got uh, stylized hazelnuts on a green background. It's, it's pretty cool. I like it. Stands out. At first, when I looked at the can, I thought, oh, mint choc chip, maybe it's a stout, but no. Um, it's got that mint choc chip vibe about it, hasn't it? Let's be honest. So, uh, so yeah, let's get it out into a glass and see what we think. There we go. I'm going to pour into my teku. And the pour is... Let's have a look at that. Oh, brown. Properly brown. Not going to go nuts. Pun intended. Uh, so yeah, so that is your brown ale. That is really brown. Now you look at another famous brown ale that hails from slightly south of the border, uh, and it's nowhere near as brown as this. This is properly brown, properly porter stroke stout territory. That should be up up close and personal. It's a beautiful, beautiful creamy tan head. And the aromas coming off of it are pretty impressive already. There's, there's a good amount of nuts coming off of it. Huge amount of nuts coming off it up close. And it is smooth hazelnut. It's kind of got that bueno vibe going on. That level of hazelnut. Creamy. Nutty goodness. It is a hazelnut lover's delight. And I've seen a few comments on Twitter about this one being a, an absolute belter of a beer. Uh, so yeah, I can't wait to uh, taste it. It looks pretty solid on the body. Uh, let's be honest, it really does. So looks good, smells amazing. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. Wow, that is nutty as they come. It's. It's obscenely nutty, which if you love hazelnuts like I do, you're going to love it. If you don't, you are going to hate it. There's there's no too fine a point. This is nuttier than, well, nutty than lots of things, but it's got so many nuts. It's, it's, it's more nutty than Nutella. There's no getting away from that. Body's superb. It's got a great body. It's almost milk chocolate kind of consistency. And even though I've got this fridge cold, it is creamy, it's warming, it's really weird. There's that, that body has got a warming vibe to it, almost like a roasted nut. It's not like roasted flavours like a stout in any way, shape or form. It's really malty, balanced and nutty. That's what you've got. And you've got a bit of chocolate going on as well. That is lovely. Mm. On a cold winter's night... That will go down perfectly. Oh yes, I'm going to have to have more of that. It's so malty and balanced and nutty. You know what I think they should do? Snickers should do a hazelnut version or marathon as I grew them up, up with them as uh, being known. I love. I think a hazelnut one would be lovely. Add some caramel to this would just be all kinds of amazing. Yeah. Mm. The finish on this one is sweet nut. Malts come through as well. And there is nothing to dislike about this one. It doesn't taste like beer though, in my humble opinion. In a in and that's in a good that's a good thing really. I mean it does have it does have beer vibes, but it's so nutty it takes it away from beer territory into a nut beverage. And I want to get all these nuts in my mouth. I really do. It's amazing. Mmm. Yeah, I am loving that. So, Fierce Beer Squirrel, or Squirrel, as the Americans might pronounce it. And I think they've deliberately left out half the vowels, uh, maybe for that reason. I don't know. 
Um, I think it's a fun poke at the name. I like it. It's delicious. So, yeah, that one. Let's give it some points, shall we? Uh, the Aid Memoir of Untapped is somewhat disappointing, I'm going to say. Uh, there have been 262 check-ins, and that is a pretty low average of 3.55 based on my tasting just now. So, yeah, that is that is just slightly disappointing, ladies and gents. I'm sorry. Uh, let's just put the name of the beer on here because I neglected to do that before I fired up. I'm uh, trying to digest a la rather large pizza. And, uh, yeah, I forgot. So, Squirrel, currently, got no points. Let's give it some. Let's give it some, shall we? So, looks, it's a great-looking beer. It's a beautiful, beautiful deep chestnut. There's no getting away from it. That is as dark as a brown ale as I have ever had. It's verging on porter stout territory. And the head colour is lovely. The retention, not great, but let's be honest, that's the... Uh, it is what it is. Look at the beer. Look at that. Look at it. Look. That is lovely. Looks great. I can find no reason to give it anything less than a full point. The aroma is all about the nuts. If you love hazelnuts, you will love it. If you don't, you won't. It's as simple as that. Kinder Bueno vibes, big hazelnut, bit of chocolate, bit of biscuit as well. It's lovely. It's getting a full point. The body is superb. It's medium to medium heavy, light to medium carbonation. And it's just so smooth. Like I said, it's almost like a chocolate milk consistency. Really really good i cannot fault it again full point flavor flavor is the most important thing about this and it's all about the nuts again it's all about the nuts hazelnut in a big big way creamy smooth hazelnut a little bit of biscuit thrown in that's coming from the malt quite clearly as is the chocolate vibe but it is all all about the nuts and it's such a sweet hazelnut flavor I love it. And yeah, you know where I'm going with this one. Full point in the finish. Again, you know what I'm going to say. It's all about the nuts. Um, and I'm going to reiterate the point once more. If you don't like hazelnut, you will not like this beer. I do. I love the fact that the nut flavour is lingering. It's not subtle. It's not kind of fading away and dropping off a cliff. It's sitting there quite nicely. And as you breathe in and you just kind of get that flow of air over your tongue, it kind of reignites what's going on. Love it. Love it. It's kind of sweet, slightly savoury uh, with all that nut flavour. And yeah, just getting a point. So it has a full five out of five, which I didn't expect, but I'm really, really pleasantly surprised. Um, but that means we're going to go over to the bonus point. So we're going to leave the bonus to last because it is eligible. Value for money. And yet again, I do it every video. I've completely mislaid my purchase order. Is it down there? No. Is it under there? Probably. No. Maybe. Eh, it's not there. Anyway, it wasn't expensive. I remember that much. And I'll stick the link as always, as you'll find in all my descriptions uh, to the beer or the brewery at the very least. Uh, I think it was about three and a half, four quid a can, something like that. It's exceptional value for money because it's packed full of flavour and it's got a great body to it. I would happily drink this one time and time again if I could. Um, buy again. Yes, I will be buying it again. There's no getting away from that. It's a lovely, lovely beer. And I think I might just do a uh, a bit of a bit of a challenge on this one later on with another couple of beers from Fierce. Um, so yeah, buy again, absolutely. And the bonus. I've never had a beer quite so nutty as this one. It's quite unique in that sense. It's beautiful, creamy hazelnut, which I adore. And yeah, it's it's the first one that I've had of its kind. And it's got more flavour than many of the stouts that claim to be hazelnut flavoured that I've had over the years. And uh, yeah, big fat bonus point for this one. So yeah, Squirrel from Fierce Beer has got all the points. Magical stuff. So there we go, ladies and gents, boys and girls. I think, did I save the best one for last? I don't know. Um, this one is exceptionally good, as are many of the other fierce beers. But uh, yeah, I think I found a really great brewery with an amazing lineup of beer that you will not be disappointed by. Uh, there's something for everyone, for every style. 
And uh, yeah, big up to the boys and girls at Fierce Beer. And we're going to leave it there and say, that has been Squirrel. I've been me. Those down there are the buttons. You know exactly what to do with them by now. You've got your like, comment, dislike, and subscribe. Choose any combination as you wish. And I will see you again soon for another video. Bye.